Before we begin, I got some good news for you guys. The Random Frank P and Novel Keys collaboration to bring you the topographic mouse pad is finally here. I get questions about this like every single hour. <laughs> If you want to pick it up for this holiday season, add it to your gaming setup, I'll put a link for you in the description. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and congratulations, you made it to December 1st. I'm sure a lot of you are feeling pretty stress-free this morning. Before this gets any more gross, welcome back to episode 197 of Room Tour Project, the series where you show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspirations for your own setup. This week, the fan favorite clean and minimal edition. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But let's start it off episode 197. Now, first we have clear milk. And no, that is not a No Nut November joke. This is pure coincidence. So it automatically had to be included here. But checking it out, this is extremely clean to the point where at first I thought these were renders. That's how clean these images look. Checking it out, he has two Alienware 25 inch monitors side by side. Kind of looks like a single ultra wide. And then down for the peripherals, rocking the Ducky 1 2 mini RGB keyboard, some custom keycaps. And for the mouse, the Razer Lance Head in the Mercury Edition to give it that nice white color to match everything else with the Razer Invicta Mercury mouse pad. Super, super clean. And then in the background for his speakers, Logitech G560 Light Sync. Got the white Nintendo Switch with some skins on it. Again, keeping it all matching to a T. And then over to the PC, we have the NZXT H500i case. Inside the Ryzen 7 3700X CPU with the NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM on Asus X570 Prime Pro motherboard and the Asus ROG Strix 2060 OC graphics card vertically mounted, possibly custom painted as well to fit it in with the white and black color theme, but a super clean PC build to go along with a super clean setup. Again, I thought these for sure were renders, the really nice prints above the wall, but in the end, it's just a dope, clean, minimal setup. Next up is Alex, and I love the natural, kind of, you know, earthy theme you have going on here. The nice dark accent wall looks great with the black peripherals, the PC, nice natural wooden desk, the green with the trees and the wallpaper, all good stuff. Even things like the warm lighting and the lamps helps add to the overall feel of the room. And even something as little as the black legs to the desk, it kind of blends in with that dark accent wall, making the kind of wooden texture and the color of that desk stand out a little bit more. So over to the single monitor here. This is a 25 inch monitor from Alienware. The same monitor is in the first submission. And as I mentioned before, I like the choice of the green for your desktop wallpaper. Checking out the peripherals here with the Rockat Swora keyboard with the Logitech G403 wireless mouse. They're on the Cooler Master Swift RX extended mouse pad. And for audio, the Logitech Z625 speakers and the ATH M40X headphones. Now for that gorgeous looking PC. This is the Fantex Evolve Shift case, so a really nice ITX build inside an Intel i5 9600K CPU with an NVIDIA GTX 2070 Founders Edition graphics card. Not too much other information provided for the PC, but it's still a dope looking build. And then for the entertainment setup across the room, a nice 43 inch LG 4K TV, some bronze two loudspeakers there, looking also pretty damn chill. And I think chill is the keyword for this one, Alex. You nailed that chill aesthetic here. Everything from the warm natural lighting to that natural theme, the accent wall, it is all done with precision. Next up is Bianca, and this one's a really nice and warm and cozy setup, you know what I'm saying? So mix in RGB there with the Nanoleaf for light panels, that big old light tube off to the side, but it's all done tastefully. Usually when you see these Nanoleaf Aurora light panels, they're kind of just too much. But here, a pack behind the monitor, really, I think this is a good job of accenting those colors throughout the setup. So this display here is a Dell 27 inch, 144 hertz monitor, mounted nicely on a monitor arm off to the right side. So it still has that like floating mounted appearance there. And the light panels behind it help give it some depth and separation. For the peripherals here, we have the Ducky 1-2 Mini RGB with a Taihao Hawaiian keycap set and the mouse is the Logitech G305 Lightspeed. Tying that light blue together with the Divina GSRSE blue mouse pad from Zowie. Again, gonna accent some of the colors in the keycap set from the keyboard. 
over to the audio gear on the left side of the desk for the speaker setup, we have the Cantu YU2 in matte white and the SteelSeries Arctis 5 headset. Chilling on the lamp for a makeshift stand. Then for the PC, the NZXT H500 case in white. Inside the Intel i5 9600K CPU with the NZXT Kraken M22 AIO, 16 gigs of G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM on an MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Edge AC motherboard, words and words and words, and the ASUS Cerberus GTX 1070 Ti graphics card. A really clean build inside, accented as well with the NZXT Hue 2 RGB light kit. Some white braided cables, a custom white backplate on the GPU, and that's how you do it, people. And then some other things I really liked about this setup was just the overall decor of the room. You might have saw before, like the really cool Gyarados print. This one here having the moon dust print of the actual color of the paint as a print, like it's one of those Pantone cards, I think is just a phenomenal idea. So really digging the vibes to this one, Bianca. I think everything here was pulled off perfectly. And again, a great use of matching the RGB and stuff, not going too far with the light tube, adding a nice splash of color and the light panels behind the monitor as like a depth accent piece. Really good stuff. Coming up next is Kristaps, and this one, what I really love about this is it's not trying too hard. At its core, it's not over the top or overdone in any way, and I think, like, as a result, something about it just gives it more of a clean and minimal touch to it. I don't know, it's tough to explain, but I really like the end result here. White walls, white desk with a splash of purple around for the RGB lighting, and obviously, like, the black for the peripherals. Now, let's just look at that desktop. Like, come on, that is clean AF. Now, for the third time in a row, we have the popular Alienware 25 inch gaming monitor, 240 hertz, and this thing is making an appearance pretty much everywhere now. For the peripherals, we have everything from Razer. The keyboard is the Black Widow X Tournament Edition with the Razer Lance Head Tournament Edition mouse, the Chroma Extended Mouse Pad, in the back for audio, the Razer Nomo Chroma Speakers, and the Razer Nari Chroma Headset with a Razer Mouse Bungee. Question is, are you gonna get the Razer Raptor monitor when that comes out pretty soon? But again, the RGB all synced to purple to again accent those colors and the wallpaper. Then over to the PC, by the way, that's where you could see the uh, his headset. It's sitting up top of there. This again is the NZXT H500i case. Are you seeing the trend, people? NZXT coming in clutch with the clean cases. We have an Intel i7 7700K CPU with the Cooler Master Master Liquid 120 AIO. 16 gigs of HyperX Fury RAM on the Asus Prime Z270A motherboard and a Zotac 1070 mini graphics card with 120 gigs of the HyperX Fury SSD. They're like dirt cheap, like 18 bucks the other day. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. And uh, you know what else you can't beat? The execution of this setup absolutely nailing the clean and minimal theme and this is what i love about it like i said it's just it's not trying to be more than it is and at its core that's when the minimalism really stands out to me the decor around the room as well looks really nice with the black shelving some fake plants around there some figures hell even the empty cube where the pc is standing on with just a phillips bulb there to give it this like purple glow all in all Kristaps, this is amazing sorry if i butchered the name and then last but not least is Monica. And again, with this one, look at what's contributing to the desk setup. The cubed floating shelves, the mix of the wooden accents, as well as the white, tying it all together. Again, very natural and clean as well. So this for the display is a 34 inch Samsung ultra wide monitor. And the only thing is I wish this submission um, had the actual monitor on. I would have loved to have seen the wallpaper choice as well as you might have seen in those first two shots, that little like lightning bulb neon sign above the PC. This would have, I think, added to the overall submission. But then down to the peripheral to the Corsair Gaming K70 Mark II low profile keyboard with the Razer Harpoon mouse. And for the PC, you guessed it, the NZXT H500i case yet again. 
with the Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, the Asus ROG Strix 1050 Ti graphics card on the Asus B350F motherboard with 16 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM. So all together for the room, nailing that minimalism. Muted, you know, grays with the chair, the filing cabinet, white floating shelves to go along with the legs of the desk and the chair, and then that natural kind of bamboo color with the desk, the shelves, and a splash of green. Really nice setup. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 197. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, if you saw anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup if you want to be possibly considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project. Check the links down below for it all. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.